Hello everyone, my name is Calvin and I am one of the real estate agent in the real estate industry. Um, so, um, what you are seeing on the screen is the ORWP uh, plan, which is the Ontario Realtor Wellness Program. Um, the email that I just received not too long ago. And apparently not a lot of my colleagues as well as probably you uh, have never signed that up before. Uh, it is one of those health insurance um, benefits that you need to sign up. Uh, I have done it many times before because I worked in the bank before. So every year we have to sign up for this. So um, seeing that a lot of uh, friends like you do not know how to sign that up. So I have um, in, uh, investigate uh, a little bit about it and invest some of my time to teach you how to do it step by step. So the first thing is check your email. You should receive one of the email looks like the screen telling you that, hey, attention, uh, Calvin, you know, your enrollment is, um, is, uh, is here, is received by us, right? Um, so you should receive one of this uh, right now. So um, then what do you have? What do you have to do after that is to click here. You have to create the account first for the first time. So after you click that, you will see this screen. You create the account, right? So you type in your Ontario, uh, the OLWP certificate number here, which is here, right? Then, you know, the brand sponsor just put Aurea, O-L-E-A, uh, birthday, email address, and you create the password. So that's the first step. So after that, you should see this screen registration successful, and then they will send it to your email. So after five minutes or so, you should receive this email. The account has been created. Right, so but you have to click the link to complete the registration. So click the link. Um, you will go to here. Uh, you put in the email address as well as the password that you just created. You should be able to log in. Right, so one more step it asks you to do is click between the employer portal and the member portal. Of course, we are the member, so we click member portal right here. So after that, this get a little bit more complex. So what I suggest you to do is to click on the bottom, the OLWP standard plan with the health service. Take a look at that first, because otherwise if you click on the on the environment here on the top, um, you don't know what to do actually. So I recommend you to read this um, important document of the Aurea Standard Plan with Health Service first. So once you click in, you will see that that's 107 pages right here. Um, you are busy making money. You don't have time to read that. So I highlighted which page you need to read. So go to page 12, okay? This is where your um, health plan is. You start off with the standard plan one, and then you can, this enhanced plan, elite plan, and super elite plan. So as you can see, for example, for the prescription drug, if you have, you know, have a lot of sickness and you need a lot of medical, um, you need to claim a lot of drugs. You may want to go for elite plan or enhanced plan and all that. Same with paramedical. What is paramedical, you may ask. All those massage, chiropractor, registered massage, um, I think acupuncture is here, dietitian and all that, right? So as you can see, for the paramedical, you are covered up to like... 70%, 80% and all that. So read this. These are the most important pages 
in the whole booklet. Look at it. See how much coverage you need. Um, it costs you money, but you know it worth while. I can do the math for you next time on the next video. Uh, but here I just want you to um, read it and sign it up. Um, so if also one more thing, if you have a spouse or whatever that is working, let's say in the bank or in a lot of big company that also offer the health insurance, the coverage, dental coverage and all that, uh, you might want to talk to your other half because you don't want to over insure yourself, right? Uh, a lot of the, the uh, coverage, uh, you know, is overlapping each other. And this page 16 is for the dental. So as you can see, let's say if you are the, in the elite plan, you uh, cover 80% of the basic service and all that, right? And then the calendar maximum is $1,000, okay? So anyway, after you read all that, um, you click to the signing up uh, there, which is the first, uh, going back to here, you can so you see the next screen. By the way, there is a deadline. It is February 29 of this year. Uh, if you pass, if you miss this deadline, you have to wait a whole year to sign up again. And I highly, highly encourage you to sign up and not miss the deadline. Because even if you call them and you say, oh, this is new, you miss it. I have dealt with insurance company before. In, uh, while I was working in the bank, they will not listen to you. So after you click that, you go to this screen. Um, it basically tells you what kind of things you can change. Uh, your plan. Um, normally, it's only during this month until February 29th, but there are some other things that can happen that allow you to change. For example, if you get uh, a baby, a new, if you uh, get married, if you get divorced, etc., etc. So you can read it here in this page. Then, next page is update your information. Basically, type in your personal information. I hide some of mine. There, so you see the screen is a little bit odd, but uh, it should be pretty uh, self-explanatory. Uh, then you click here to add dependent. Dependent is your spouse, um, your kids, and all that. So you can add there. Otherwise, they will not be um, coverage. Who is eligible dependent is right there also. Okay. Then you choose your plan. So for example, if I choose the elite plan, you can see that monthly I need to pay about $150. Um, that's what I would choose. Um, after reading the booklet, I think that's, you know, um, that's the best plan for me. Then this is beneficiary because the plan coverage uh, has life insurance in it too. So, you know, who do you want to give the uh, benefit to um, if you pass away, okay? If you don't choose anything, it will go to your estate. But read this, this is important also. Then lastly, confirm your enrollment. Um, just read this. After you confirm, you are not allowed to change uh, your coverage until next year other than those life events that happen to you. So um, this is important. So I hope this helped you clarify some of the things and don't be scared of, you know, by the 107 pages booklet. Okay, so this is Kelvin again. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and I'll talk to you next time.